Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In the previous video, we target uh, enemy starter pack animation to our main character. In this video, we are going to animate our character. So, let's get it started. First of all, I'm gonna create a new folder. Call it files, I guess. Uh, let me create another folder. Animation. In the animation folder, let, okay, let's create everything from scratch. Uh, let's create a new folder, BPs. I'm just gonna create a new character, create a new blueprint class character, call it BP player. Open this character. We got some code here. On the viewport, select mesh. Uh, let me select our mannequin character mesh. Escape mannequin. Click on this uh, escape mannequin. Use select asset from content browser. And there we go got our mesh so let's uh, fix this uh, location and rotation on the rotation the axis put minus 92 on the location also z axis minus 92 and yeah this is the perfect location and rotation for our character hit compile we need some uh, movement just for making uh, everything fast, I'm gonna copy the movement code from this character. So, open third person character. Oh, sorry. Uh, on the event graph, just copy everything. Hit Ctrl C, come here. Hit Ctrl V, and there we go. Now we need to create uh, our camera. So, add a component, spring arm. Spring arm. And also we need to add a component, add a child component, camera. got some serious problem here let me just adjust the camera rotation and location I think uh, this is good in the spring R we need to just click on the spring arm, check use pawn control rotation, I guess, let me check here, uh, yeah, use pawn control rotation, and also, let me check everything, on the board setting, if you don't have this uh, tab, you can add it from window, on the window, board setting, game mode, I'm gonna look for third person game mode in the character i'm gonna choose my own character bp delete this one let's play and yeah we got everything here so let's create our animation blueprint in the just head back to our animation folder we need to create a animation blueprint Choose the right skeleton, call it uh, BP animation, BP anime, yeah, and also we need to create a uh, animation blend space, 
animation blend the space choose the, also choose the right skeleton call it rifle so let's open our animation blueprint on the event graph we are going to search is really if try get pound owner is valid we are going to cast to bp underline underscore uh bp player hook the return value to our object hit compile promote this as a bp player to a new variable yeah so let's get our speed for getting our speed just get velocity get vector length i guess vector length yeah vector length Promote this to a variable. Call this, uh, rename this uh, new variable to speed. Connect this to our speed. And also, we need to calculate our direction. So, for uh, calculating <laughs> our direction, we need to get uh, get actor get actor rotation. Search for calculate calculate direction. Get our base rotation from get actor rotation. We don't need any target. Just connect uh, this uh, return value of get velocity to our velocity on the calculate direction. Promote this to a new variable. Rename this to direction hook this up so head back to our anim graph we need to create a add new state machine call it our state hook this up to resolve if, if I hit compile we get some error and we can't see anything we can't see our character animator so in the entry we are going to create a new state call it default on the default we need to add our third person ideal run 2d just drag into the screen for the speed we need to get our speed if I hit compile now our character is animated so we are good to go let me close this third person head back to our character blueprint select mesh uh, select the anim class bp anim compile and yeah our character is animated so everything looks fine mm -hmm. I think looks fine except the jumping animation we are going to fix that later you have to take care of rifle blend space let's create a rifle blend space Open this on the asset details. Just open this up. First thing, call this one direction minus 180 and the maximum axis value 180. 
on the vertical axis call it speed now we don't need uh, we do not need a minimum axis value we just need a maximum so call this maximum to 600 600 uh, search for idle idle uh, idle rifle hip drag this into the four column now our character has this idle animation Boom. for the let me let me check something uh, jog forward I guess yeah jog forward must always be in the middle jog LT must be on the left column jog RT must be on the right column and also for these two we need to add uh, our jog backward hmm. Let's uh, put this uh, put this uh, animation blender space into our animation blueprint. We need to create a new. Add a state. Call it rifle. Do this. We need to set our animation transition. We take care of this later. Open this uh, rifle. Drag our rifle blender space that we create earlier. Hook this up. Get our speed and our direction. Head back to our character. We need to add a variable call this variable is rifle add a new boolean variable call it is rifle I'm gonna search for one on my keyboard keyboard events one I'm gonna add a flip flop I'm gonna set this uh, variable true copy this and paste on the B we are going to set it to false hit compile head back to our BPN in. on the event graph we need to get our variable from the character so in the reference that we create earlier get uh, is rifle now we need to promote this to a variable promote this to a new variable hook this up head back to our transition from default to rifle we need to get this is rifle hook this up is rifle true uh a character start playing a uh, rifle bl uh, blend space but if it falls uh, the rifle will be false and we back to our default uh, blend space so get our is rifle but this time search for not boolean hook this off hit compile let's check everything hit play if I just hit one on my keyboard, now we enter the uh, we enter the rifle blueprint. Uh, me, I mean uh, rifle uh, blender space. But we have some. Our m movement is not really smooth. It's just kind of creepy. So let's fix this. 
Now open rifle blend space on the target uh, weight interpolation. We need to change this value to two. You can change it to five or three for a smoother rotation. Just this is good for me. Uh, open B player on the character movement. Just let me check something. Yeah. So let me hit open. Now we have smooth rotation. Uh, something went wrong. I don't know why, but this is this is for it for this video. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!